They were a vital part of Australia's war effort 70 years and more ago. Catalina flying boats carried out crucial bombing and mine laying missions in Asia and the South Pacific during World War II. Now one of the surviving aircraft has a home worthy of its legacy. Stephanie March reports on this weekend's reopening of the Flying Boat Museum at Lake Boga in northern Victoria. Something new to house something old. After a quarter of a century being exposed to the elements on the shore of Lake Boga, this 80-year-old Catalina flying boat finally has a roof over its head. The building had to go over the Catalina because the corrosion was setting in and uh, it was only a matter of time before their poor old girl would have been fit for the tip. For five years from 1942, Lake Boga was a key repair and servicing depot for the RAAF's fleet of seaplanes. At its peak, about 1,000 military personnel were stationed here. Will stars here, I run across the uh, photo of my sister-in-law taking parachutes. And her, her sons were here today and they saw that. It took almost a million dollars to restore the plane and build the hangar. The Catalina that's in the museum now, I actually flew on that in 1944. Despite a few near-death experiences during his time as a Catalina crew member, Keith Farrell is keen to keep the memory of the famous flying boats alive. I would go to schools, uh, legacies, old people's homes and tell my story to people for years. Some Catalina enthusiasts came from as far away as Queensland. They're just probably the best flying boat that's ever been made. The restoration came at a critical time. Only three years ago, the bone-dry lake and its attractions were struggling to attract visitors. Now, uh, there's about 12 feet of water there and uh, the museum is going very, very well. A revamped museum off to a flying start. Stephanie March, ABC News.